Alright guys, today I have a uh, really, really cool card to show you all. Um, essentially, this is going to be... I'm going to call this a no-setup card trick where you basically have the spectator go ahead and pick any card from the deck. So you go ahead, you have the spectator pick any card that they want to. Let's say they wanted to pick this card. really does not matter which one it is. I'm going to show you guys the card real quick so this way you guys can see it. Now, I don't want to look at it, but hopefully all you guys can see the card. And now what we're going to do... Let's say you guys could say stop anywhere you want. You say stop around here. Pick the deck up. We're going to put your card into the middle of the deck. Let's go ahead and give it a shuffle as well. And at this point, what I'm going to try to do, or what, or what I would actually do, is have you guys cut the cards. But since you're not here, I'll do it for you. We cut the cards just like that. What I'm going to do is snap my fingers. And hopefully what we should have done is gotten the two. Let's make sure I get this in frame. Let's go ahead and get the two black kings. We look for the two black kings, and they should have sandwiched your card, and your card happened to be the eight of spades. So this is the trick, guys, and if you want to do it, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, so uh, the good part about this trick is, like I said before, um, I'm going to go ahead and classify this as a no-setup trick. Um, only The only thing you have to do is uh, there's really no setup except for leaving the two um, black kings on top. So I don't know. I guess this isn't necessarily impromptu, but the spectator can pick any card. And you can shuffle up the deck while leaving the two kings on top. So, I mean, the deck is still kind of mixed up, and the spectator really can mix up any card or pick any card they want. So, essentially, let's do that. We go ahead, we have the spectator pick any card. And now, what I did, um, I was, as I was performing the trick, I didn't know if I wanted to do a Marlow tilt or a bluff pass, but essentially, what I did was the bluff pass. So, while you're showing the card to the spectator, they're going to be looking at it. So, whatever card this is, in this case, we have the Jack of Diamonds. And you're not going to know what this card is until the very end of the trick, but you, all you have to do is, as they're looking at their card, you go ahead, get a pinky break underneath the top card just like that. And now what you can do is from the front, they're not going to be able to see it, but in the back you do have this little break. All you have to do is ask them, when should I stop? You say, all right, go ahead and tell me when to stop. And as you tell them when to stop, or as they say stop, you come over with your right hand, you cover up the deck, your thumb is grabbing this little break right here, the top card. You cover it up, you let go of the break, pick up only one card, and this is going to be one of the kings. You ask them, go ahead and put the card in the middle, and your fingers are covering up the thickness of just the one card. So they still think it's half the deck. They leave the card there, you put the single card back, your fingers are covering the deck, and you go ahead and riffle about half the deck, just like that. And that's going to be a really convincing way of making the spectators think that their card is actually lost in the middle. All right, so if you want, you can also shuffle up the deck one more time, making sure to leave at least three cards on top and telling the spectators, all right, so let's go ahead and make sure your card really is lost in the middle of the deck somewhere. Now go ahead and then you have them cut the cards because these three are on top and you want these to be somewhere in the middle. So you go ahead and you have the spectator cut the cards anywhere they want. And that is going to be the trick. You flip over the deck and now this is going to be where the trick ends up and we have the two cards directly in the middle just like this. This is the trick guys. I hope you guys like it. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that if you want to. And um, as always, thanks for watching.